welcome everyone today we are going to solve number of disk insertion intersection problem let's say start at first we should read the problem statement the problem is there will be two disk and it will intersect each other and there should be one common point for example non-negative integer specific the radius of the disk and after that we say that this j disk and k disk intersect if j is not equal to k and the j eth and k eth disk have at least one common element one common point so there will be at least one common point what I told earlier and this is the array size and the number is total number is 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 and I already mentioned array always start to count from 0 8th index so for getting total 6 elements or 6 integer value it will count until 5 that means we will get total 6 integer value so let us this is the more explanation about it and this is also important this information that's given an array a describing n dxs as explained above return the number of unordered pairs of intersecting disk the function should return minus one if the number of intersecting pair seat this amount so it's also important we should check this condition now let's start to solve this problem at first we will make we will divide one array to into two sub array that's why and you should also concerned about it write an efficient algorithm of the following assumption each element of array a is an integer within the range this is the range so it should be long if we, if we will take int value in data type then we will get wrong answer because it's more than maximum value for int that means long is suitable for this figure that's why we should define long start new long I will just copy same line without typing again and again I define two variable after that I am using for loop which will help us to iterate the value and divide one array's value into two arrays so at first start equal to i plus should use long because we call data type int so we should convert it in long array values should convert like this way now we should take two global variable because it will return integer value so that's why I took unordered that's why I took integer value and for checking the condition this value now another for loop int i equal to 0 
let r i should check until we until we get the unordered value that's why we should use while loop because for loop is checking some specific time that means the operation is limited while loop it will check over and over if j value is smaller than array length and start i greater than equal to int j if it's true then what we have to do unordered plus j then unordered value will increase j time again an order in equal to um, minus i and i value will be decrease after that j will be increase one one now i will check the special condition if unordered value is greater than 1 this amount then it should return minus 1 according to the problem statement it should return minus 1 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 0 later i should return on an order and i should sort there is a quiz for everyone after using sort arrays dot sort function to access these arrays what sort of things we have to do more right in comment section who knows i will disc i will tell you later at first try by yourself and write it in comment section what will what we have to do more after using arrays dot sort we are sorting to sub array dot sort because there are two sub arrays and we should sort it. anyone can answer of course we should import is java.util because arrays package is under this side that's why we should import this package then we will get access about arrays otherwise it will give us wrong answer it will not execute let's say start to run anyone knows what is the problem because start is array but i was call it as a int now i hope it will work properly still not so if it's still not then what is the problem there is sort agent I think everything is fine I don't see any problem just but still a 
ਨੂੰ ਅੱਡ ਅੱਡ ਦੇ ਲੋ start in new long i did mistake i should write it and now it will work properly what we did we should recap again at first we took two long variable to divided array a into two sub array and those variable name is first one is start second one is end after that we use for loop and we divided array below inside a start and end and we assign the below after that we sort these two start and end arrays later we took two global variable one is unordered below and another one is j for checking the condition and again we use another for loop and inside this for loop we use an one while loop to check because it will check until it's find the total unordered below that's why we should use while loop also and inside the while loop we are checking condition if j is smaller than a dot length a dot length that means n equal to 6 it's already written here and 6 is greater than j equal to 0 so 6 is greater than j the condition is true and start i i means index number the value is 1 so it's greater than or equal to int j j is 0 so the value is 1 of course it's also true then it will check this condition it will check this unordered equal to unordered plus j the j will increase and unordered below 0 plus 0 it will be 0 at first later it will check 1 2 3 4 unordered unordered minus 1 minus i sorry after that j is increasing and this is the special case according to the problem statement this is the special case we should check it and later we return an order below done again let's go to submit and check if we are getting 100% result or not if we will fulfill all the requirements properly then we will get 100% result and the problem is medium you see it's written it's medium so our score is 100% that means it's fulfill all the requirement according to the problem statement so i hope everyone enjoy and see you next video take care bye bye and write in comment section are you enjoying all the problem solving videos and if you have better solution or something please share with us in the comment section take care